Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. I'm C.R. Speller. And I'm Nick Oresco. Tonight we continue our coverage on the controversy in Amherst Regional Public Schools, a school committee meeting being held to discuss the next steps for an interim superintendent. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live from our studio. And Christina, you were at that meeting earlier this evening. What can you tell us? Yeah, a few names have been, propo have been proposed tonight for consideration of superintendent. And an emergency meeting is slated for Thursday to come to a final decision on who will fill that role. And earlier this evening, we heard from concerned residents and staff on both sides of this issue. Change and transparency being called on during an Amherst Regional Public School Committee meeting Tuesday after school staff were accused of transphobia and not reporting anti LGBTQ plus bullying. Kids are suffering from suicidal thoughts because of this. You have a child's life in your hands and you're preaching your your message and it's detrimental to these youth. The school meeting was held in the search for an interim superintendent after Superintendent Dr. Michael Morris announced a temporary leave because of personal health reasons. Most recently, the Amherst Pelham Education Association voted no confidence in Dr. Morris for what they say was his failure to promptly address the anti-LGBTQ plus behavior. When LGBTQ plus youth receive social support from at least one adult, the rate of suicidality declines by 40%. Assistant Superintendent Doreen Cunningham was also called to resign. Some school staff at the meeting accusing Cunningham of unethical hiring practices and promoting a toxic work environment. Supporters for Cunningham also present at that meeting. So are we looking for solutions or are we looking to further, further villainize a black woman? Whatever your truth is, by all means, you have to speak your truth. You should, but you want to be careful not to create a, a, a bias to hinder the truth from com coming forward. And again, an emergency meeting will be held this Thursday. Committee members hoping to arrive on a decision on a superintendent by then. Working for you tonight, Christina Morris, 22 News.